Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. This is the latest from Beanstown 106 Jelly Beans build number 13 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's rebased, brand new base, the over the air update 4.1.2. The VRB MB1 baseband. No, we didn't get any of the multi window sidebar goodies in this update. Instead, we got the awesome feature where I'm now able to take a picture while I'm on my phone. Can't remember the last time I wanted to do that. But anyway, it's a little bit smoother, uh, better battery life, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but the point is, is that it says 4.1.2 instead of 4.1.1, and that just makes me happy as it is. So as you can see in the settings menu, we are on the VRB MB1 baseband. Uh, also, I chose the KT747 kernel. You have three options. You can choose that kernel, the uh, lean kernel 2.1 or you can choose Beans as a stock kernel as well. So those are the options. You can see we're on build number 13 by Beanstown 106. And uh, back on out to the settings menu if you have not been on Jelly Beans. It is an AOSP-themed ROM. It's all TouchWiz, but it looks like AOSP. And a great job done by Beanstown and everybody who's helped them out with the theming on this one. One of the first things that I like to do is I like to go into the developer options. And I always like to go down to the window animation scale, uh, transition animation, and animator duration. And I put that at 0.5. Now, normally I put it at 0.5, but the other day I was playing around and I was like, I'm going to turn this off and see what happens. So I turn it off and I like it. So now I leave my animations off. Why? Because you'll see a little bit later. This thing flies now. There's no animations at all. So it just moves from screen to screen to screen. No problems. All right. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Other than that, settings menus are the same except for the new and improved and expanded ROM control. All right. This is uh, Didact and Beanstown's ROM control combined together. So you get a whole bunch bunch of options. Let's go through these real quick. First, you're going to choose your lock screen. Of course, you've been able to choose multiple lock screens for a while now. So I'll show you which ones you do get in 13, the Acer Cloud, the Galaxy S3, BlackBerry 10, AOSP, and LG Optimus. Okay. Now, the lock screen torch toggle is an option. Also, you have some custom toggle options here as well that you can play around with your button order and widget buttons that will be shown. Um, also, your clock style. Do you want it to be right, center, or no clock? AM, PM, don't show a small or regular day of the week, don't show small or regular. Also, your battery icon. Now, this is where it gets kind of fun here. I currently have the colored gauge. You can see right up top there. It kind of looks like a speedometer or a, a tachometer with different colors and the number. Okay, you can see it right there. Uh, but now there's a whole bunch of them. Look at all these that you can do, and it changes instantly. So let's start at the top here. You got your stock blue. That's what stock blue looks like. Oops. We'll go to uh, text only. We'll show you the AOSP battery. Uh, what else we got? Blue segmented circle. CM blue. What's this crisis? Crisis. Green HC. A uh, little Android. So there's a whole bunch that you can play around with here, and they sh they go instantly when you change them. Now, what was the digital? Digital ICS blue. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And there's also a digital I uh, digital red as well, which is right here. Kind of looks like the alarm clock. I'm going to leave that right there like that. So uh, that is going to be your battery icon. Battery bar, if you want a battery bar, you can play around with the settings for that. Uh, the keyboard icon. Now, some people have said, well, I don't want that stupid keyboard icon up there. It's annoying. Well, then don't check that option. If you're like, hey, I want that keyboard back, the keyboard option back, check that option and you'll have it back. I like to switch back and forth. Some people don't want it up there. It makes it easier to have it, so that's your option. Also, long press volume music, uh, the long press music track, uh, that is also a checkable item as well. And, of course, the Beans Over the Air updater is the bottom of there. So that is ROM Control, the new and improved Beanstown 106 and Didact ROM Control combined together. Other than that, it's going to be the same settings menu. So let's head back out to the home screen. Now, if you haven't been on this ROM before, you can see it does look like AOSP, even though it is TouchWiz. Um, uh, the uh, launcher has been modded. You see the circle app drawer icon. You got your uh, AOSP camera and gallery icons, AOSP email icons, messaging. The phone looks like that. Messaging is AOSP. Um, what else do we got? Do, 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 do. 
All right, so let's go and do the K tweaker. If you chose the KT747 kernel, this is what you're going to use to play around with your uh, kernel. General settings, okay? You can under volt or under, this goes all the way down to 96 here if you want to. I put it at 144. You can overclock up to 2.1 gigahertz. That's a little too high for me. Make sure you enable your overclock steps, otherwise, it will not let you overclock. You can lock your frequencies if you're going to be doing any benchmarks uh, apps. Then you have schedulers, a whole bunch of governors here as well that you can play around with. Look at the list of governors that you have here that you can play with. I'm using the K-Tunservative uh, governor right now on here. But that is the general section. Then you have the voltages section. This is going to give you a chance to play with all your voltages. Okay. When you're done, just hit apply. Extras, this is where you're going to enable fast charging down here. Uh, vibration strength, uh, screen off profiles, and things like that. Set options at boot, very important. Make sure you set the options at boot, otherwise you're going to come back and go, where are my settings? Why didn't it hold my settings? Well, that's because you didn't set the options at boot. Plus, you can back up your preferences through the SD card, so if you do update the ROM or go to another ROM and use the kernel, you can restore your preferences from the SD card as well. So the K-Tweaker app, an awesome app that goes with the KT747 kernel. If you don't have the KT747 kernel and you chose Link kernel or the stock kernel, you're obviously not going to have it. All right. So uh, the camera, you are going to get the Samsung Galaxy S3 camera and the Android 4.2 camera. Both of them, well, the 4.2 camera has the uh, photo sphere option and this one does have the AOSP icon yet it still is do not show me again it still is the Samsung Galaxy S3 um, with a blue ice cream sandwich button cyanogen mod colored button I'll show you the 4.2 camera as well it has panoramic video and it does have the photosphere which does work so you do get both of them and you get both galleries with it as well including photo editors so um, that's the cameras GPS, GPS works fine. I had the uh, GPS status working going. Of course, I'm inside, so it might not be as quick as it would be if I was outside under the bare sky, but you'll see it locks on within about three seconds. We're at 17 out of 21 inside, so GPS has no problems with locking on at all, okay? What else I want to show you? Notification pull down. That's what it looks like. You have the choice between the Simon's and Mod Blue or the white toggles. And you have a choice between five, six, or seven uh, toggles shown in that screen at one time. You do also have the choice of having the labels underneath there. See, this is all in the Aroma installer when you're installing the ROM. It gives you the choice to do all these different things to your ROM before you even install it. So wanted to show you the auto or the uh, notification pull down menu. It looks awesome. I'm really liking that uh, red digital 93 up there. Uh, what else I want to show you? Oh, the music app as well. you got the long press music, so let's play some music here. We'll play a little Bob Marley. Turn it off. It's working. Ooh, Justin Bieber. Sorry. I work for a top 40 radio station. So it is working. All right. Oh, yeah, good song. Anyway, just wanted to show you that the long press to skip track works on here. And, again, that's an option in your ROM control. I've showed you GPS. I've showed you the camera. showed you the notification pull down. also showed you about uh, the developer options to turn those animations off. Let me show you. Going into the app tour, look how quick it is. You don't have any animation, so it's literally instant. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we're switching through your screens. It's super, super fast. In your app drawer, same thing, super, super fast. Again, some of that's the uh, 4.1.2 update, and some of that's going to be the uh, turning the animations off. And I also use the Cedar app. If you haven't used this yet, uh, it's pretty cool. You can find it over at droidviews.com. I'm actually a writer and contributor now for droidviews.com. Uh, if you're looking for anything Android, whether it's system dumps, applications, wallpapers, notifications, um, launchers from different devices, you're going to find them all over on droidviews.com. That's D-R-O-I-D-V-I-E-W-S dot com. This is one app that I found on there. It's called the Cedar app, and supposedly it makes you uh, have less lag, which if that's working along with the Android 4.1.2 and the no animations, this is the fastest, smoothest ROM I've ever been on on my Galaxy S3. So I showed you that. You also have the option for your lock screens, which I showed you that. 
keyboard switcher, you showed you that. The icons, we showed battery icons, I showed you the long press to skip tracks. I've showed you everything pretty much, the new stuff that's on here. Of course, there's going to be a couple little quirks here and there. And, of course, you're going to be able to dig deeper in here and find some more of the features and stuff. I just showed you the basics, all right? Everything's working. It's a wonderful ROM, build 13. Jelly Beans, build number 13 by Beanstown 106 has got my thumbs up of approval. It's my new, uh, well, it has been, but my new 4.1.2 daily driver and it should be yours too, all right? Don't forget to check out my other videos over at YouTube.com, Android University. I'm also, like I said, a writer and contributor over at DroidViews.com. That's D-R-O-I-D-V-I-E-W-S, all one word, dot com. The latest on Android, what's going on in the Android world. You get the, I already got the Samsung Galaxy S4, wallpapers off there, ringtones, launchers, all of that is at droidviews.com. Definitely check it out, all right? Thanks for watching the video today. Enjoy it. Jelly Beans Build 13 is awesome. My name is Hobart. Have a great day.